This always happens to me. I pack last minute and I forget the basics. Like for this trip, I forgot my comb. Hello everyone, my name is Nat and welcome to the Traveling Foxes. If you're new to our channel, we love sharing our travels and adventures to inspire the wanderlust within you. So we are currently here in Flower Island. Not sure if any of you have heard of this place before. It's a little island found in El Nido, Palawan. And it's actually really far from where I'm used to. If you've seen my previous vlogs in Palawan, I normally go to El Nido resorts. That's not far from the airport. So you land in El Nido and then it's like a 10 to 15 minute drive. And then you catch a speedboat from um, Leo Resorts. But for Flower Island, I was actually quite surprised because we are at the other side of El Nido. After a one and a half hour flight from Manila, we had to take our approximately one hour van and from that one hour van we were at this port and we need to take another one hour speedboat so the journey here was actually quite long compared to what I was used to and the waves were quite big for this trip so I'm now visiting on the first week of February so it is going towards summer but we're not yet in summer per se so we still get the sun but we also get the winds and the waves so i decided to check out flower island for a change heard a lot of good things about it they do some retreats here which i haven't tried so can't say much about that so far the place is really relaxing the room is beautiful i'll show you guys a quick room tour we are in the designer beach villa this is good for four people but it's just me and my husband press and one of the highlights that they've mentioned is to check out the underwater world because there are turtles there are baby sharks and there are manta rays and i think it's seasoned for it so i'm excited to show you guys a little bit hoping to capture some of them on video before we get to the water let me show you this beautiful room so the cost for this room is 19,000 pesos per night a little bit cheaper than Alida resorts but i'll show you guys around so you guys can decide which you prefer unlike my other vlogs i'm going to start this video in the toilet because it's really windy outside and you're not going to be able to hear me so this is the shower and for me this is one of the highlights of the room. I think it's very beautiful how they designed it. Um, they made the bedroom um, a little bit more compressed and gave a lot of space for the shower. You know, like for me, like people underestimate how much time some of us like to spend in the toilet. So, and have a look here. And let's go and check out the bedroom. So this is the bedroom, you got a princess bed and two beds on the side. Sorry if it's a little bit messy, um, this is day two for us. I wasn't really planning on vlogging for this trip, but thought that, you know, I'm gonna share with you guys this place. So add your options of choices if you plan on visiting El Nido in the future. And they also have a separate closet where the toilet is. So at the other side, there you go, all our clothes. Just double checking that it's not messy. And just at the other side is the toilet, which you don't really need to see, you know what a toilet looks like. There you go. So we have another sink as well. And I'll quickly show you outside because the view is really amazing, especially in the morning. So you open the door and just look out into the beach. So yeah, let's get going to the water right now. Hope to catch some good um, videos so you guys can also have a look at the underwater world. Yeah, I was thinking of going to the helipad and going down from there. So this is going to be our um, entering spot. Found a good one, just not far from the rocks. Apparently, there's some beautiful fishes just by this huge structure, huge rock over there. So that's what we're gonna check out now. And maybe if the current pushes us, we're gonna go halfway or just all around the island or to the other side of the beach. No?
So we just finished snorkeling and it turned out to be really good. At first I had to like tap on crest and I was like, wait, is that a manta ray or a stingray? Because if it's a stingray, you could get electrocuted. So it was quite a good short snorkeling session because I started feeling really um, chilly. So I decided to cut it short. And it was also really nice because the current was just pushing us back to the other side of the beach. So we didn't really have to do anything. We were just floating along. So yeah, now it's lunchtime and I'm gonna show you guys where we eat the restaurant where we have our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So the food here is actually buffet, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is included um, when you book the rooms, but for lunch and for dinner, it's up to you if you wanna choose to join or not. Um, you have to let them know beforehand and per person, per meal, it's a thousand pesos plus VAT, etc, etc. <laughs> All right. It's actually quite a big island. When I first searched about Flower Island, I thought it would be a really small resort with cozy accommodations, but the area is actually quite big and they have a hiking spot which we might visit later, maybe. We'll see later tomorrow. Yeah, they have a lot of rooms of all sizes. They have the presidential suite. They also have some deluxe rooms, which I think have no aircon. No, I'm not sure. Our itinerary for today is only a massage at 3 p.m. Very chill day. So yeah, just probably gonna read a book while waiting. Oh. That's a lot of crows. If they say that one crow is bad omen, we're really unlucky today. Guess we're gonna get bad weather. The weather is perfect, guys. It's good, you can sunbathe and it's not gonna be too hot because it's very windy, but I am hoping for less wind because I've been feeling cold. And I know a lot of people will be like, what, cold in the Philippines? Yeah, I'm used to a lot of heat. I play paddle in the sun. So just kind of want more heat. I just wanna feel the summer feel. So that's the restaurant, but the time is 11.51 and brunch starts sorry lunch starts at 12 so we're gonna take you to the tiki bar first i guess you can share with us your experience so far since it's day two like how'd you like it it's very authentic Beach. Filipino, yeah. It's very oh. authentic Filipino. Yeah. I think it would appeal to a lot of Europeans because it just has that very authentic beach resort vibe. Yeah. So it's really perfect for tourists. I guess for Filipinos, it's also one way to appreciate, you know, like the cultural beach side of the Philippines and not just the resort style, you know, the white rooms, the cement. Here you have a lot of the cottage kind of looking rooms. Um, a lot of wood and a lot of rawness to the beach like a lot of five-star hotels they would really clear out all the rocks here mm. you get to experience every single bit of the beach life maybe a more variety on the food i would personally out like that. yeah so i'm going to show you guys a bit of the food that they offer the buffet um, just so you can have a look Fast schedule is at three, so we're heading there now. Um, the prices of the spa is actually not too bad here, so it ranges from 1,200 pesos to so I think 1,800. And there's a few options that you can try. And for this massage, I'm going to be doing the back and foot massage. And I think Press is doing the same too. Have a quick look at the spa. It's how pretty it is. Yes, 
massage I've had in the longest time. It was just the right amount of pressure, pressure in the right places. And when you go to the spa, that's really what you hope for, right? Um, it's just really good. And I'm just happy that I was able to do it here. Um, yeah, for now I'm just going to have my ginger tea and then we will head out for sunset session. bits of sunset thank you guys for watching another travel vlog from the traveling foxes don't forget to subscribe and like this video fully appreciate your support and i'll catch you all in the next vlog bye